There are some cool things going on in space tonight. It's the second and largest supermoon of the year. Plus, there will also be a lunar eclipse early tomorrow morning. So let's break down what that means. First, a supermoon means that the moon is the closest to Earth on its orbit. That means it will look bigger and brighter. A lunar eclipse is when Earth sits directly between the sun and the moon, but the sun is able to cast a shadow from Earth onto the moon, making it look red in the sky. NASA says the double features give scientists a unique opportunity to study lots of different things at once. But it's all part of a bigger mission. Kelsey Young, who's a research space scientist, says NASA is getting ready to send astronauts to the South Pole of the moon. And there are science questions to be learned and investigated there that we didn't have ac access to during Apollo. For example, uh, there are volatiles like water ice that we think are trapped in permanently shadowed regions of the moon. These are areas that literally never see the sunlight. Uh, so we think that there's water there that astronauts might be able to use to establish a longer term sustained presence on the lunar surface. She says an orbiter has been circling the moon for 12 years. It's taking pictures, sending back data and helping NASA get prepared to send people again. So we're using the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter to paint the moon with, with fresh eyes, with cameras and other scientific payloads to be able to figure out exactly where we want to send humans on the lunar surface and then what they're going to be doing once they get to the lunar surface. This will be the only total lunar eclipse of this year, but the bad news is we won't be able to see it here in East Tennessee. Cassie Nall explains why the timelines just don't match up. The only total lunar eclipse of 2021 will take place on Wednesday morning, and here are some of the times. The eclipse will begin at 447 a.m. with the moon totally moving into the Earth's shadow at 711 a.m. The moon will begin to exit the Earth's shadow at 725 and the eclipse will end at 949 a.m. The entire process takes about five hours. Now something you may notice about these times, the sun is going to be up here in East Tennessee. So unless you're going to be out about 447 a.m. until the sun comes up at about 622, you're only going to notice a slight reddish hue coming onto the moon by that time. Unfortunately, the best viewing conditions for this total lunar eclipse will be in Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii, Southwest Alaska, and the islands of the South Pacific, a.k.a. not here in East Tennessee this time around.